Be with us here on RT. Our top story in Libya: government forces are turning up the heat on Colonel Gaddafi's remaining supporters. Defiant loyalists are making a last stand in three key cities: Sirte, Bani Walid, and Sabha have been under heavy assault for more than a week, with reports Gaddafi and his sons could be hiding out there. Meanwhile, the rest of Libya is reeling from months of civil war that's left tens of thousands dead. Ongoing NATO airstrikes have also reportedly killed a number of civilians by mistake, but some West. Western leaders are now facing charges at home for the legacy of that military intervention. RT's Daniel Bushell reports you may find some of these images disturbing. French ex foreign minister Roland Dumas says he's ready to defend Muammar Gaddafi in the International Criminal Court, which has issued a warrant for his arrest. But NATO will have to find the colonel first. Libya's deposed leader is in hiding for good reason. If they find him, they'll kill him, like bin Laden. Some states are now claiming the right to kill against all international law. Images like these are moving French lawyers to turn against their government. Nicolas Sarkozy faces lawsuits over the deaths of ordinary people in Libya. Lawyers here in France accuse the president of committing crimes against humanity. This lawyer calls the Libyan war a new Vietnam, where the U.S. sprayed tens of millions of litres of toxins on crops in the 60s and 70s, causing brain disorders, miscarriages and birth defects to this day. They're using missiles with depleted uranium, which causes cancer. In Tripoli, I saw people crippled by NATO attacks, office workers who have nothing to do with the fighting. That's why we're suing President Sarkozy for crimes against humanity. NATO first denied bombing this residence, where 13 civilians, including four children, died. It then called the place a military command center. This journalist went to see what it really housed. Books, uh, video of Spider-Man, uh, toys and cultural books and everything. It's nothing, nothing military. In another attack, Khalid Olawidi's wife, a child and grandchildren were reportedly killed in their home. NATO is accused of deliberately waging a campaign of terror. Their bombings targeted the electricity, water and food supply. After five months of daily NATO bombs and thousands of deaths, people will stop supporting the regime because they just can't take it anymore. Western leaders are poised for their first big legal challenge over Libya. If they stop the cases coming to court altogether, adds Cicoldi, it will prove once and for all that Western justice really is run by politicians, not the rule of law. Daniel Bushel, RT, Paris.